Many people use stars to help decorate because stars are a symbol of Christmas. It was a new star in the night sky that the wise men followed all the way to Bethlehem to see baby Jesus. Many people put stars on their Christmas tree to remind themselves of Jesus' birth and that Jesus is the light of the world. We remind us of God and Jesus. It's in the shape of a circle. Circles don't have beginnings or endings, just like God's love. His love for us will never end. This is a special. It's an agony. The candles represent hope, faith, joy, and the love of Jesus. The Jesus candle is in the center, this where he belongs in the light. Many people use angel ornaments at Christmas time. That's because angels are very much a part of the Christmas story. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her she was going to have a baby who would be God's son, and she was to name him Jesus. The angel also appeared to Joseph and told him about the baby and to name him Jesus. While shepherds were watching their sheep outside of Bethlehem, an angel appeared in the night sky and told them the Savior had been born and where to find him. After that, a whole multitude of angels filled the night sky, praising God. After the wise men visited Jesus, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. He told Joseph to take Mary and little Jesus and flee to Egypt because they were in danger. The light reminds us of the angel's light when they came to tell the shepherds that their Savior had just been born. At Christmas time, you can also be a light to others by helping others and letting them shine. Jesus is the light of the world! Do you know why candy canes remind me of Christmas? It's because if you turn it like a J, it reminds me of Jesus. But if you turn it up, it's like a um, um, staff. And then a staff is like a shepherd where they herd up sheep or they care for the sheep. But God, Jesus is our shepherd. The peppermint flavor is kind of like a gift of Spices from the wise men, the stripes, but the color red is Jesus' blood for sacrificing for us. And the white part is the sinless Son of God. So, this is the family nativity scene, and it reminds us of the day that Jesus was born. And it's basically the story of how Jesus was born. So, Mary and Joseph went to all the inns. And all the innkeepers said that they were full and that they were closed. But one of them, well, one of the innkeepers said, well, you can stay in the stable. And so they accepted it because it was just about the only option they had at the time. You know, they were in the middle of nowhere, basically. And um, so they had Jesus and then angels were flying around them and they were scared. But the angel said, it's fine. The Savior's just been born. But then the wise men saw the star that had appeared in the sky and they knew it meant that um, the Savior had just been born. So they went on Camelback and it took them about two years so Jesus was um, two years older by then, probably about two years older by then and then um, they, gave, they gave Jesus their gifts and um, the gifts that they gave him weren't any ordinary baby gifts like toy duckies and baby rattles. They were like things that like a king would get, like gold and um, silver and stuff. So that's about it. That's basically the nativity. Holy Comfort Family! Merry Christmas!
Christmas, everyone.